Welcome back everyone. Press Dior, Labyrinth of Toho. Or Labyrinth of Toho 2 rather. Let's uh, keep on going. I went ahead and leveled up with what experience I got from fighting Ran. And let's see, I have enough to get Enhanced Hexes level 2, so we'll get that. And we can finally get max out uh, 3 Treasures Mirror. So Keen has all of our buffs maxed out, which is awesome. Um, beyond that, not much I can really do with her besides just, well, I could start working on her, uh, sort of defenses and stuff. I mean, that's not a bad thing at all. Uh, all allies in the front row get that. Unfortunately, all of her bu stuff that improves buffs will hinder Hina, so not sure what to think of that. We're good to go. Let's save the game real quick, just in case. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and try to start saving my money, even though that might be a horrible idea. Um, I need 32,000 to get the next uh, sake. It's already in the shop, so I that's why I know. Um, besides that, well, that's pretty much it. Anyway. It's all about the jungle beat. Alright, so I need to hit a switch. Which, there is one all the way to the north. But we'll worry about that later. Hmm. Faster than I thought. That's it for that. Alright. Well, for the simplicity's sake. Alright, so what we need to do is get to that switch. Easiest way to get to that switch is to head straight north. Keep heading north. Alright. Nothing I can't handle. Goodbye. So my I guess I'm not used to having a build that's literally designed to blitz a boss. I mean I've done it once against like Kari in the previous game, like just spamming lots of nature damage in quick succession and using um like a combination of Kaguya's, um, or, yeah, Kaguya's special ability of, like, giving extra turns and stuff like that. But this, I'm not even using extra turns. I'm just using raw damage from certain character combinations. Another water cutting sword, okay. It's not bad. I mean, it's just different. I'm not, it's not something I'm used to. A lot of my builds have revolved around just, like, buffing myself up as much as possible, and then, um, just going all out from there, like buffing all my stats, my you know, my defenses and attack, and then just tank everything while just swapping in my squishy guys to blast away. Um, and this, it's uh, a little bit different. Let's go ahead and open this. Main equipment: Yokai Metal Shattering Axe. It's a Two tomes of inside speed, two swiftness gems, and a star of a lindel. Yokai metal uh, shattering axe, an item important to the story setting, an axe that can shatter core metal, a uh, core metals, and even occasionally shattering the ter terrifying Yoda yokai metals. He's also plenty strong without it, and and when berserk, victory is 100%. Okay, um, maximum MP minus 5, attack increase, and magic increase. Okay, and the Star of Alindal. A shining gemstone that is the symbol of the status of Ornor Throne. Its starlight brightens all around it. Um, I can't even read all the stats on this one. Um, all stats plus 20%, 
elemental affinities, 30 uh, plus 30, and all ailment resistances plus something. Let's, uh, I can test it real quick. Who doesn't have an ailment resistance? There we go. It increases it all ailment resistance by 15%. So yeah, that's a thing. All right, not too shabby. Uh, who can use it? This thing's what, plus 20 in all stats? That'll reduce you to 97%. That's not good enough. All affinities, all of that. All resistance is plus 12%. Or plus 12, rather. Alright, so it's an upgrade for her. There we go. Not too shabby. Alright. Takes care of all that. Um, we'll go ahead and just leave dungeon and return. Oh, hello. Energy gem and something. Alright then, let's take a look. Buck 20 different main equipment to energy gem. There's a lot of main equipments that, that aren't farmable too. And... Oh yeah, we got this, didn't we? We never even looked it up. Detonator Marissa. Collect 60 different materials. If we keep collecting this many materials, an all-purpose working machine could create an organ soon. Alright then. Alright, I think we're done with this half of, of the uh, dungeon at this point. Uh, what we can do is check to see if this plant did anything. Let's find out. Yeah, no change. Actually, there used to be three, now there are two. So I guess we have to find the other two. Uh, actually, I don't need the teleport back. We can just do this. There we go. Let's turn that on. Here. Takes care of that. Unless we go from the, uh... I'm not sure how we were supposed to get over there. The stairs probably... Oh, it might be the stairs from, uh... Where that one boss is at. Maybe. Who knows. Burn. Thank you. takes us down a floor. Alright. Let's see where this takes us. Alright, we're up here now. What do you got for me? Hmm, that root desperately crying out for attention. Okay. Same thing. Thank you. Done. So that's another root taken care of. Who are you? Oh, shortcut. Well, that was easy. I'm assuming there's now only one plant left. If I need to grind, I can do it off screen, so I don't mind cutting uh, 
myself off like that. So yeah, I can get through that spot now, but there's still the uh, there's still a patch in the way, so no point in going that way for the time being. Oh, that's something we could do. Now the it move, removing that particular patch of uh, of brush, I can actually hit the switch and just go around if I need to. Well, I won't worry about that just yet. Ah, uh, it's you again. I want to drink sake. I can't go on without that uh, that kind of sake anymore. Ah, uh, luxury truly uh, spoils an oni. What are you trying to say? Once you give a dog milk with a little sugar inside, that dog can't drink milk without sugar anymore. It's like that. Which means, it means exactly what I said. Ah, uh, I'm really out of fuel. Grr. Yep, there's... We gotta get her another... Bit of sake. Go from there. Also, I apparently missed something. I didn't reveal that section over there. And it's gonna bother me if I don't do it right now. Anyway, I'll explore as much as I can without hitting any switches. It's the least I can do. Shortcut. It's not really a shortcut, it's actually taking me a very long time to cross this. I'm just doing this to avoid random encounters. Like so. Alright, we're back here again. So yeah, that's why I didn't want to hit the switch, because there's that there. Alright. Oh wow, that's a whole lot of them. Oh, that was a nice dead end. Alright, Pale Wing Thruster, that's just the uh, speed item. Nine hundred money. lot of directions to choose from. I'll just keep going in a circle. Thank you. 
actually don't need to actually do anything. Awesome. Got to save some MP. Okay, nothing there. Let's keep going this way. Why not? Purifying amulets. Bye bye. All right, a path we can take advantage of. Oh, oh my. Hmm, that voice should belong to. Hello there. I see you have come here as well. Hmm, I suppose your objective is to stop the Celestial holding the Amae no Murukumo. Huh? Byakuren, you know about that? In a way, yes. Due to my training as a priest, I would notice the existence and movement of a sword possessing such divinely power regardless of it, if I wanted to or not. Furthermore, I am quite well known amongst the yokai at uh, Mori Yorin Temple by now. I have overheard from them about the conversation at the Hakurei Shrine regarding a certain miraculous and revered uh, sword already. Completely found out. Haha, <laughs> good job keeping it secret, eh? Yes, it was always a tall order keeping anything from uh, someone on Yukari or Byakuren's level, though. Those yokai have no respect, though. Honestly, Byakuren, please make them stop referring to my shrine as some gathering place for yokai. Oh my, it isn't? Of course it isn't. Those yokai just keep coming continuously, and because of them, human worshippers keep their distance. Honestly. That's because you aren't treating your duties seriously. I keep hearing about the Hakurei Shrine has been taken over by yokai at the village all the time. Uh... Anyway, if you are searching for the Celestial in the Ame no Murokumo as well, would you like to join us? Ah uh, yeah, let's stick together. It'd be uh, huge to have someone as strong as you with us. Mm, thank you for the invitation, but I am traveling with the Emma. Though, we are acting separately at the moment. Yeah, we know, we saw Eki earlier. My, I see. When searching for a single celestial in such a massive tree, even when we catch up to her, traveling as one group might make it easier for the target to escape. For now, I believe it most effective to keep apart while searching for her. Hmm. Yeah, you have a point. Yukari and Yuiko seem to be chasing Tenchi down as well. With the three of us working separately, we should uh, definitely be able to find Tenchi sooner rather than later. And you, Eki, shouldn't have... Uh, you and Eki shouldn't have any trouble, uh, problems with the enemies around here. Although there are many details that we lack, why did this uh, great tree grow shortly after the uh, Celestial acquired the Ame no Murokumo? And how, and how was, uh, how, sorry, and how she was able to extract such power from the Ame no Muro... That one's missing a K. Murokumo. These all remain myster uh, mysteries. Speaking of that, Yukari and that Ghost Queen said something similar too. They did? I'm the type of person that, that who remembers those tiny details. They said something like how Celestial uh, shouldn't be able to draw out that kind of power from the Ame no Murokumo. Then she herself explained it by saying that the Celestials possess power close to the gods or something like that. That is not possible. No matter how much training the Celestials undergo, drawing out the Ame no Murokumo's power requires strength several orders of magnitude above their peak. But that's Tenchi. Uh, but that Tenchi is definitely way stronger. Uh, ever since she got her hands on that sword. Even as one whole group, we couldn't match it uh, for that one Celestial. There's no way that strength could be from Tenchi alone, and the, on the only real possibility that she's getting the strength from the Ame no Murokumo somehow. That Celestial said that the Great Tree grew because it's her who has the sword though. If we're to believe her, that means this tree is actually born from the Celestial's own power. That cannot be. While it is true that the Ame no Murukuro has the power to control the land, and a potential evil application of it would be to cause something like the Great Tree to grow in an instant, to perform such a complicated deed would require the Ame no Murukuma to acknowledge someone as its true wielder, so that the person can make full use of its power. By following that log logic, that means that that Celestial was chosen by the Ame no Murukuma to be one who controls the land. Looking at the, uh, at the current situation, that would be the most fitting explanation, but that cannot happen so suddenly. I believe that we must be missing some pieces of the puzzle. Um, if that's if there's stuff we don't know uh, hiding in the background, that then the best way we 
got to expose that is to beat up the one who's standing in the foreground. That Celestial. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if we're a match for her yet, but we've definitely gotten more used to fighting since our last encounter. We'll give her a better fight this time. With all three of our groups chasing the Celestial, we are sure to find her as well. I shall take my leave then. Right, thanks for the info. Hmm, that Tenchi. If she hasn't really mastered the Amai no Murakumo, then how did she get so much power? As we just said, uh, as we j said just now, there's no point in pondering things that we don't know yet. Let's hurry on so that we can find the answer as soon as possible. Yeah, let's go uh, get searching for that Tenchi. And that's the last route. Assuming. Okay. Almost done with this floor. That's nice. Punch. Arch again. What did I give the arch to last time? I gave it to you. Alright then, congratulations, you get this. Hundred and eighteen evasion, yay. Alright. Anyone needing plus attack item? Possibly you. I'll buff up your defenses. Yeah, I can go with that. Alright, so we're done here. It's a oh, I say it's a lock passage thing. I guess we didn't need that detour uh, at the front area. Oh, this thing's tough. Okay then, let's uh, pop this then, and we can just head on across. Now go. Let's see. There's not really an easy way to get over there. We'll go this way then. So, with this, we can already go to the item over here. Awakening, awesome. So we can give someone else a uh, subclass. Well worth the effort. Not sure what subclass I would be giving. I suppose I can get um, give it to Keen and just buff up her uh, well her ability to buff.
My other option would be... Would be to make... Um, why am I doing that? That's gonna do zero. Would be to give it to... Parsi, possibly, and give make her a Toxologist, and increase her chances to afflict uh, status effects of her own, I guess. So, that's probably not the best use. I can also make someone else a Magician as well, to kind of make them more efficient. Cluster candy as well, okay. Nothing I can really do with you. You already have better. Um, I guess I can give it to you, why not? Whatever. All right. Just gotta clear out a few more spots and be practically done with this map, thankfully. Music's gonna be in my head forever. Alright, purple metallic armor, nothing special. And that's it for here. So the only spot we have left are a few locked areas. Right then. What level am I? Average level 34. I'll deal with the level ups off screen. Let's see if we can get those last few areas. First things first. Get what's in here. Yay, a thousand bucks. Now for the tedious part. So I need to get to there. But to do that, I have to hit this switch here, and then go around. Magic filled parchment. Well used parchments that were used in ancient magic books. If you try really hard, you might be able, be able to erase and write over the original text. Well, there's an area down there, but I can't get to it. Yay for shortcuts. Alright. Anything else in here? I don't even see anything here.
this could be a waste of my time. Yep, waste of my time, at least for now. Probably it has something that spawns later. Alright, well... All that's left is the boss, who's level 36. Level up everyone. I have some special items. We got a fighting gem, which I'll be putting on Parsi. Swiftness gems, which I'll be putting on Hina. And let's do some skills. Oh, I also can see about giving someone a subclass, but I don't, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, let's get that upgraded. You don't have anything to work with right now. You can finally get thankful preaching. That's pretty much it. Okay. So, I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this was Arbiter Toho 2. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.